a lot of those. Coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Justin Gaethje. All right, so here he is, Justin Gaethje, the lightweight contender. Many fancy him a future UFC champion but it's just been amazing to watch this guy seamlessly transition to the UFC. One headlining spot after the next. More bonuses than UFC fights. This might be the most exciting fighter in the world today. He is the most exciting fighter in the world. He's a guy that when you put him at the top of the marquee, people show up. People want to watch Justin Gaethje compete because you know you're almost watching a... We go to these videos on YouTube and all these other things because we want to see action. Don't worry about that. Get on your PlayStation, choose Dustin Gaethje as your character, and it's going to be fun. In real life, in video games, Justin Gaethje is one straight highlight. Yeah, you want bulletproof matchmaking, just throw Justin Gaethje in the main event against anybody, and he'll take care of the rest. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Habib Nurmagomedov, he's a guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly, and when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do in the octagon. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 23 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Oh. All right, so here we go. Round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting them to stick to what got us to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just missed on the overhand left. Good head movement there. Big ball for punch land. Now we get back to range. Well, you 
start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Three minutes now, round one. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Straight punch lands. Kick to the body by Namago Metal. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Left hand punch. The they continue to exchange. So just over 20 total strikes now for Justin Gage. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. All collar tie. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Knee to the body. Uh, another knee right to the midsection. Oh, huge right hand. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact... Whoa! Oh! Huge kick to the head. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh, big left. Wow! Gate Cheese has got full mount now. Nurmagomedov gets up, but he looks dazed, he looks confused. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. Round two is here. Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Justin, the highlight gauge. Beautiful kick. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that bit. So 42 total strikes have landed for Justin Gaethje. And landing at a 49% clip tonight thus far against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Big kick land. Oh, huge block. He's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Gaethje. Oh, All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Gets up again here, but hurting. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, a huge block there. Oh! oh. Big diving punch lands. Back to the feet. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack.
take a look back at the replay, it ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched ball. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 37 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Justin, the highlight, Dave G. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world.